for dinner on Tuesday. We are having this cheesy chicken broccoli rice dish. Looks prettier in the pan with the cheese on top melted. Um, but I've made this quite a few times. It's really good. It's all done in one pan, so it's pretty simple. I mean, easy cleanup. Um, and it's just really tasty. I'll put the recipe below. The only thing I do different with the recipe is I season the chicken really well with salt, pepper, and garlic salt. Just says salt and pepper in the recipe, but the first time I made it, I felt like it was kind of bland, so I threw garlic salt on there as well. So that's what we're having, along with the saltillo zucchini. Um, I've been making this for years. I have a recipe video for it. It is just uh, zucchini, tomatoes, onions, celery. So that's all just sauteed in olive oil, and then it's just seasoned with some Lowry seasoned salt, some garlic salt, some pepper and some oregano and that's just cooked on the stove. It takes about 15 minutes to cook and it is a great way to use up zucchini. We've got some from our CSA and so that's pretty much it. Some oranges and some mangoes and that's what's for dinner on Tuesday. Okay for dinner on Sunday we got some barbecue chicken going on here. Um, I'd wanted to have like a, a grilled chicken Caesar salad Instead, we just have a side salad, and Jared wanted to put barbecue on the chicken. Got some grapefruit. We put some uh, corn on the cob on the grill. Jared likes that a lot, and it is in season. And then we made some vegetable skewers with, um, let's see, the onions and the squash are from our CSA, and the bell peppers and the tomatoes are from our garden. And um, I just made a mixture of olive oil. I used some jalapeno olive oil that we have. And uh, what else? It smells good. There's fresh, or. Er, Dried basil, dried oregano, salt, pepper, and I also threw in some garlic salt and a little bit of this balsamic vinegar, garlic cilantro. Um, so we just cooked that on the grill also. And yeah, mm. got lots of stuff. Also got a can of uh, ranch style beans here just because I haven't had those in forever and they sounded good. And needed a little bit of protein for Jordan because we don't eat meat. Me and Jordan are not eating the so chicken. Soft. That is our feast for Sunday. For dinner on Monday night, these are a, a couple of new recipes you guys may have seen once or once if you've watched my videos for a long time, but I've only made this one like two or three times and this is my second time to make this one. So these are eight ball zucchinis we got from our CSA. The recipe, I think it's called eight ball zucchini parmesan. You cut the uh, zucchini in half and you scoop out the inside. In a food processor, you pulse a piece of bread. Um, I just used a piece of wheat bread that we had. And uh, you also do onion, basil, spinach, and garlic, you pulse that, and then you saute the spinach mixture, and then put the uh, zucchini pulp in there, along with the tomatoes and the salt, and you just cook that on the stove for a little while, and you uh, steam your zucchini to get it tender. Then you put your breadcrumb mixture in with the zucchini mixture, and then you fill the zucchinis up with it, and top it with some Parmesan cheese, and you bake that for about 20 minutes. A little bit of work chopping up, well, no, it's pretty easy because you pulse it all together but that combined, combined with this recipe was um, quite a bit of work. So these may look gross, but they're really good. But it is uh, potatoes in a garlicky charred broth. So like I said, I'll put that recipe below. It looks gross, but it's really good and really healthy. And then I just have some uh, chopped up peaches with it. And Jared is having some of his leftover barbecue chicken with it. And the kids probably won't eat this stuff, but I'm gonna make them try it. So that's how we used up some of our CSA veggies, and that's what's for dinner on Monday. For dinner on Tuesday, we are just mainly cleaning out the fridge because we're leaving tomorrow to go to San Francisco. So I wanted to use up some of the green beans from our CSA. So I made this pesto pasta with green beans, something like that from one of my cookbooks. So I made a homemade pesto, spinach pesto. It's also from the cookbook and the pasta recipe is from it. But we topped it with, oh, the basil. So it got a bunch of basil in it, which is all from our garden. And then the tomatoes are from our garden. And we got some Parmesan cheese on there. Um, so it was pretty easy. just. A lot of work since I made my own pesto and then we're just having some fruit with it there's the kids plates Jared's finishing up the rest of the barbecue chicken and I'll probably warm up the rest of the potato and Swiss chard Swiss chard mixture and the roasted veggies so leftover and a new dish night for Tuesday um, for dinner on Tuesday night it's a little bit different um, I'm on I'm on another one of my uh, vegan attempting to eat vegan as, as vegan as possible one of those little binges you know that I do sometimes just trying to eat healthier and start working out more um, so this is what I'm having and we cooked one of our hello fresh meals it is the chicken parm salad um, it's got potatoes and spinach those are all the ingredients 
The salad dressing is just made out of sour cream, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and pepper. So that's what's uh, mixed in with the spinach and the roasted potatoes. And then you just cook the chicken in the oven. Uh, it has sour cream spread on top of it. On top of that, you put a mixture of the panko breadcrumbs with Parmesan cheese and some garlic powder and salt and pepper. And then that's cooked in the oven. So that's the Hello Fresh meal. So I'm just having some of the potatoes and salad. So I am eating a little bit of sour cream, but it's okay. And uh, so no chicken for me, although I did taste it, one little taste, and it was good. We've had some pizza sauce in the freezer. So I thawed that out and I'm just eating it over some whole wheat spaghetti noodles. And then I also wanted to use up some of our squash from our CSA. So I just found this recipe on Pinterest. You just cook, some, cook your onions in some butter and then add the squash along with some salt, pepper, and brown sugar. And you cook that with the lid on it for about 20 minutes. And then take the lid off, let it cook for about 10 more minutes to uh, thicken up the sauce a little bit. So it's pretty good, but I think it's way too peppery. Um, I don't like a lot of pepper, but Jared does, so hopefully he'll like it for that reason. But I will put that recipe below. And yeah, that is what is for dinner on Tuesday. Thursday night's dinner is left overnight. Why yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So he's excited. Jared's eating the leftover chicken from our Hello Fresh meal. Since I didn't eat a piece, there was an extra piece left over. And we are having one of the uh, egg bakes from last night. And then I'm finishing up the spaghetti. We got some um, like pickles, jarred pickles we got from a farmer's market a while back. So we cut up a pickle for all of us. I mm, yep. uh, got some more of the squash and mm -hmm. onion mixture. I also cut up some of the cucumber and tomato from our CSA, so we can just have that with some salt. Got some, uh, oh my gosh. These kids are obsessed with the salt shaker. Got some kiwi and some grapes. The kids have got a grilled cheese because they don't really care for this other stuff. But anyways, that's what's for dinner on Thursday. For dinner on Saturday night, Jared is eating without us because it's late and Jordan just woke up. But anyways, he made our last HelloFresh meal. It is the Hello. Juicy Lucy Burger. I'm the so allergic. he's having that along with this salad that I made, which I'll show you. So this is what we got. Juicy Lucy Burger with tomato, onion, jam, and arugula salad. But we didn't make the arugula salad because we don't like arugula. He gets both the burgers because I'm not eating meat. Um, and I made this. Okay, so this recipe is from my Meatless in Cowtown book. And it's a healthy little salad. Vegan. I made it vegan because I don't have cheese. So I might do a recipe video for it, but but we also got some blueberries and strawberries, and so I'll just be having this for dinner, and Jared's got the burger, but that's what we're having Saturday night. <laughs> for dinner on Monday night, we've got lots of random stuff. So I've got a Caesar salad here with lettuce from our CSA. We made some veggie kebabs. The squash and the onions are from the CSA, and then there's some mushrooms and red bell pepper on there. Those are from the store, and I'll put the recipe below that I used for the marinade and then we just cooked them on the grill and then we got some skillet potatoes the potatoes are from our CSA uh, we just seasoned them with salt pepper garlic salt and fresh rosemary and then we've got some kiwi and Jared grilled a bunch of barbecue chicken so him and Jojo are eating chicken I made Jordan a little peanut butter and jelly because she won't eat much of this other stuff but uh, lots of healthy stuff for dinner so that's what we're having Monday night For dinner on Wednesday night, things are a little bit different this week just because I'm just making different recipes trying to use up um, our CSA veggies and also because I'm not eating meat but Jared is. So he's having some of our leftover barbecue chicken that we made um, a few nights ago. And I bought a huge thing of dry black beans from Costco and there's a recipe in this cookbook uh, it's called black beans simmered with onion and jalapeno or something like that. So I made those. It's just onion, garlic, and jalapeno. And then the black beans. And then like, I think cumin and some smoked paprika and salt. We're having those. He's having the chicken, the beans. And I made a squash casserole because we have so much squash from our CSA. I'll put the recipe below. I've never made one before. I just found one with good reviews on the internet. So I think it's pretty good. Used up a lot of our squash. It was nine cups worth of squash. I guess that's it. I guess I'll just be eating the casserole and the beans. And then we got some cucumbers from our CSA. And we have a ton of tomatoes. 
So I just chopped up some of those. And I'm going to give Jordan some of the leftover uh, pinto bean chili from yesterday. That's her plate. She can dip her chips in it. And she liked it topped with the cheese and the um, Greek yogurt. She was pretty much just eating spoonfuls of Greek yogurt. Kind of a weird dinner, but that's what we're having on Wednesday night. For dinner on Tuesday, I made a new recipe from my Meatless in Cowtown cookbook. Um, some veggie fajitas. So it's a orange and yellow bell pepper, a squash, a zucchini, onion, and mushrooms. And it's just seasoned with olive oil, lime juice, garlic salt, cumin, chili powder, and salt. I think that's it. So we just cooked it on the stove, warmed up some tortillas, made some Mexican rice. Oh, and made this avocado tomatillo salsa that goes with it. Got some leftover black beans, some watermelon. My mom's eating with us. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's for dinner on Tuesday. For dinner on, what is it, Wednesday. We're doing breakfast for dinner. We have company again tonight, so I just want to go ahead and show you guys what we're doing. Just Jared's got bacon over there. We got eggs mixed with spinach. Our uh, famous skillet potatoes that Vera thinks he can do better than me. Those are so much better looking when they got a good crisp in them. I made them. Um, I'm cutting up some tomatoes and cucumbers just to go on the side because look how many tomatoes need to be eaten up. And we're just going to eat some more of our watermelon and maybe use some of the sauce from yesterday. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about it because it's really good. It's just like a tomatillo avocado salsa verde. And I just used a couple small cans of salsa verde and you just mix it with some cilantro, some lime juice, and an avocado. And it's really good. It, we use it as a dipping sauce for chips and also on our, um, our veggie fajitas, whatever you call it. Tortillas with the veggies in it. I can't think right now. So it's pretty good. Check out good these look. That's what's for dinner tonight. For dinner on Thursday night, it's all kinds of random stuff because this is our leftover slash clean out the fridge night. So we emptied lots of uh, containers in the fridge. So I'm finishing off my black bean burger that I made a few days ago. And uh, we cut up an avocado and one of our tomatoes from our CSA. And finishing off um, our Mexican rice and the veggies that we made for the veggie fajitas the other night. Finishing off a little bit of black beans we had left. And then Jared's having some leftover corn with these hot links that we had. We had to uh, get together Sunday and they cooked out hamburgers and these I forgot to film. And so like I'm trying not, not to eat meat so I made black bean burgers for myself. Worked out very well. So he's having this. And the girls are just finishing some leftover mac and cheese that we had for lunch the other day. With some corn and some baked beans that we also cooked on Sunday. And then on the table here we just have some watermelon. Some mustard for Jared's dogs, whatever you call them. But that's it. That's what's for dinner on Thursday. Mm -hmm.